Hi guys, welcome to your reading. Today we're gonna take a look and find out what it is that your person is not telling you right now. So keep in mind this is gonna be a general read, so if you pick a pile and it's not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile, or you can check out all three, or it just may not be your message today and that's okay because these are general reads. All right, I'll have timestamps below, and if you guys are interested in personals, all that is below as well. All right, we'll dive on pile one. Hi, Pio One. Welcome to your reading. So we're going to take a look and find out what the person on your mind is not telling you right now. So keep in mind, this is going to be a general read. So if the first few cards come out, they're not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, let's find out what your person's not telling you right now. The Two of Pentacles. The Fool. And the Moon. Huh. Well, there's a decision at hand here. Something about moving things, uh, possibly... The Fool is a, if you complete a cycle, basically, you go back to the beginning, okay, and you start a brand new cycle. So this is kind of what it's looking like to me. However, there's something being hidden, right? We are pulling on what they are not telling you. So with the Moon card, huh, let's see, what's the Moon? Temperance, okay, so somebody, it's, it's like a waiting energy here. There could be fears around this decision, so I don't know what's going on. Page of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Whoever this is, they are researching. They are trying to figure out a way. It feels like there could be some kind of obstacle between the two of you here. Um, and if, it, if that's the case for you, this person is trying to figure out a way around it. Because I'm just getting the vibe. Like this, this Two of Pentacles is weighing pretty heavy on them. As well as the Fool. Like they want to take this leap. They want a new cycle to start with you guys. Um... At a different level but there is something they've got to sort out it's kind of what i'm getting <clears throat> eight of swords the nine of pentacles so for some of you you know this person's having issues with giving up their independence um to to commit to this connection so let's just see what's rub with the fool the knight of cups hmm all right well <laughs> i don't know who this is for you this past person new person somebody you're in a situation ship with but clearly they want they want to give you guys some sort of romantic offer here. I mean, that's what this is about. So the decision here, it looks like they've got to get past their fears to do this. So, uh, you know, pile one, I'm just saying, there's somebody here who is definitely thinking about whatever this is they're going to give you. Probably expression of feelings. So let's see, two of pentacles. The five of wands. Hmm, I'm going to pull on that right now because it can go a couple ways with what we've been seeing here. What is this? Seems like an internal conflict more than anything. Yeah, it's the Knight of Wands. Okay. Okay. The Hanged Man and the Nine of Wands. Uh, pile one, I'm just going to say this is a pretty specific energy that I'm getting just with these cards out because it feels like um, you've kind of turned a Knight of Wands into somebody who now wants to take a leap and and dive into more of a substantial commitment here you know the thing is they're having issues this is the decision for whoever this is that they're not telling you they have these feelings they've actually they've actually envisioned what it would look like here to to be more committed to you um however they do like to take care of themselves i mean the knight of wands is very like a self pleasure oriented character here i mean in and out likes to have fun here for a good time not a long time you know um so that's that's the decision at play here is what it looks like and there <laughs> with the hanged man and the nine of wands it's like this person has tried to maybe fight this you know maybe they've wanted to keep it casual they just weren't looking to do this um but now we see with the six of swords behind that it's it's they're letting the walls down okay they are it's like they've kept you guys i think for some of you in limbo wondering what's going to happen here um you know but they, they, they've got the fears so that's really the decision and i think the fear comes from well what if i fall like what if i fall too deep for pile one like i'm not used to that i don't really not really looking to do that but i can see it kind of going there so should i just should i just take the plunge <laughs> You know, I'm really getting that, especially with the fool and the moon. It's like, should I just dive, dive on in here? So, all right, let's see what's wrong with that two of pinnacles here. The four of wands. So this is about a more solid commitment. 
is is what I was what I was getting is that they're not telling you this. So you guys may think in the in the 3D they're not interested, they're not looking for this, they're just in it for fun, right? Um, but really, they're actually weighing their options right now. The fives are temporary, so I don't think that this is going to let this person stop them. I mean, you know, they trade something that no longer serves for something that could be um, like the best thing they've ever experienced, but they won't know unless they try. Okay, so it's kind of the energy. All right, the fool. The king of pentacles. <laughs> yeah. Okay, pile one. Well, you've, this person's not telling you that they've changed. Okay, you've made them want to grow up. So for a lot of you, you are, you're more advanced spiritually than this person is. Okay, I'm getting like, they were just used to operating in the 3D, again, living for living for the moment here. Um, living for themselves, for a lot of them, you know. Uh, this is this person honestly thinking about committing. <laughs> committing, like, going all in. And it's almost like they, they know, like, they can't just, with you, Pile 1, they can't just half-ass it. So it can't just be, it's got to be all or nothing kind of thing. <laughs> um, and they're nervous. They're nervous that they're just going to fall into this and it's going to just overtake them. Right. So a lot of them are, are, this is the, this is the decision though. Um, so for some of you, you may have given this person an ultimatum, like, Hey, we either, you know, make more of a commitment with this or we kind of, you know, do our own thing here just for some. All right. What's the moon? Why is it here? You know, that's the card that we got with it. This person's waiting. They've waited out of fear to take that leap to, to really pursue this connection the way that they want to. Um, okay, let's see temperance. Yeah, so for a lot of you, Pile One, if, if this person's been real slow to commit or real slow to tell you what this is, it, it's because they feel like they're falling pretty quickly for you and they, they really have to take a pause before they just, you know, again, go all in. <laughs> temperance. It's the King of Cups. This person's caught feelings here, okay? He could be dealing with a water sign. We do have Earth out as well. Um, four of Pentacles. They don't want to open up. This person just get they're scared of their own feelings here. And so they're not telling you this. Page of Cups, yeah. So they've only given you a little bit uh to work with here, Pile One. You know, I think you guys have scratched the tip of the iceberg for what it is that this person actually feels for you. Um we do have the magician and the knight of swords behind that. Whether or not this person has wanted to admit it, they themselves have actually manifested for movement here with you. Okay, so so they're not telling you this. And in fact, I think a lot of them are playing it cool in the 3D. Like, no, this is just fun. We're 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 here. They haven't even told you that you know they're they're at to the point of the King of Cups with you. So they've held back. They've <laughs> they've suppressed all these feelings here. Um, and, and they've given you the page, but when in reality, they're manifesting this whole Knight of Swords, the sun. Okay. Hmm. This person just seems unsure of themselves. You know, there's just a fear of the unknown for them. Um, and that unknown with you, Pile 3, or Pile 2, one. why did I even say that? I haven't even recorded Pile 3. Um, hmm. It's probably going to be relevant because I did this yesterday and Pile 3 actually had messages for Pile 1, so I don't know. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Dang, I lost my track of thought, guys. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's just this person's scared of opening up here. They're scared of their own feelings falling too deep here. That's what it is. What's the Knight of Cups? The Star. They're being guided, though, to you. It's like you're this bright light. If they've tried to come in and then go back out and keep it casual or whatever this was... Um, it's like they can't stay away. It's like the moth to the flame. It's making them want to just dive in here. Um, really just go for it. I mean, this is what they've been manifesting. So they've been trying to like play it cool again, like act like they haven't been doing this or they haven't thought about this when really they have. Okay. So, you know, if you're resonating, this person's definitely thought about more of a long-term thing here with you. Okay. Five of wands the hierophant so that's that's the problem here is that this person was not looking for commitment and now you've changed them you've changed them pile one they're not telling you this so they're all it's all behind the scenes it's all over here like really like i don't know i'm just getting this person's like having like these i'm just seeing their eyes get big i don't know it's like oh my gosh what am i gonna do um hmm. they're at like a tipping point though 
So for a lot of them, the decision is to release a, a lifestyle that they're used to, that they're accustomed to, and, and move forward towards a completely different reality here with you. You know, something that they've actually manifested, whether they want to admit it or not. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do the Hierophant. Why is it here? The Six of Wands and the Nine of Swords. This backs up the whole read that I was just saying, guys. This person has seen this. They've, For a lot of you, they've kept you in the dark. Like, you wouldn't even know. I mean, um, some of them I am getting that they have, like, this group of friends that um, they all kind of stay with the same vibe where they're out here having fun. They're not really trying to commit. That could be this Five of Wands thing where this person has caught feelings for you. But, yeah, they've got to choose between maybe you and and again a lifestyle or a friend group here it's the six of wands and the nine of swords though with the hierophant it's like this person wants it but they're nervous about it a lot of them don't think that they can make the expectations here you know of what it looks like to be in something like this with somebody like you um so i think that's where the fear comes in here it's the ten of pentacles at the bottom and the king of swords <sighs> Oh, okay. Yeah, this person wants, they want it. It's like I see them like, like they're about to rush out the door and go tell you this. And then they, they stop themselves. It's just like they're processing this right now is what I'm getting. So they're not telling you this because they're still in the midst of processing these feelings for themselves here. Um, wow. Okay. Tell us about the fool. <clears throat> it's the ace of swords. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this person knows that they, they know the truth. The truth is here, it's the wheel. They feel a faded pull to you, so they can't shake it. It's almost like by when they met you, if they tried to go back to that whatever Knight of Wands lifestyle that they were doing, it, it just wasn't it wasn't sitting right with them after they met you because they know the truth here of what it is that they want now. So their perspective has shifted. Um, again, they're just, they're processing right now. It's like the, the processing stage of all this. Wow. All right. Um, you do the two of pentacles. The ten of pentacles. This person's deciding whether or not they want commitment. They do. They want it. They, they Listen, whoever this is, they're going to do it. It's just a matter of time. You know, again, like I said, they, they've got a lot of feelings. They've got a lot of emotions that they're not used to tapping into here. Um, but for them, I mean, the Two of Pentacles is the first card out. So it's really one of the most significant cards in the spread because it is the thing that's heavy on their mind with the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Five of Wands, with the Star and the Ten of Swords. This person, okay, for some of you that did give them an ultimatum here, um, they know that if they let the pride and the ego and the way of living here, you know, the self, for a lot of them, self, self-serving, self whatever, um, if they let that get in the way with this five of wands from a future here, then they've missed out on a, on what it was that they truly manifested. So, you know, there may be people in this person's ear, right? And uh, that can be that can be harder sometimes to shake than you know what what that uh, negative voice in our own head is telling us. So, who knows? There could be somebody attached here that's making this person question like what it is that they're truly feeling for you. In as far as uh, changing their lifestyle in order to pursue this connection with you. So, for some of you, not all. All right, tell us about the King of Pentacles. It's the Five of Pentacles and the Death card. Um, the Two of Swords and the Tower. Wow. Okay, this person's thinking about, like, just honestly, completely transforming here. You know, they're at a crossroads right now in their life. Pile one, if you're resonating with this message, you can probably tell there's something going on here. Um, it's like this person's about to get real with themselves, with the people around them, and with you. But right now, they're not telling you this. So there's a lot going on. Honestly, that they're just, they're not saying right now, Pile 1. So, wow. Okay, let's do the uh, Knight of Cups here. Ten of Pentacles flew back out again. Get out. Pile 1, this is like, this person's literally in the process. If they already haven't told you that they want something solid here with you, this is what's going on, what they're not telling you. So I'm just saying, they're heavily thinking about this. <laughs> Tell me more about the Knight of Cups, because we just, we need more than that Ten of Pentacles. It's the Five of Pentacles. So some of them could feel, again, that they, they just, they would need more finances or stability to do this. But 
what I'm getting here now that I see the bottom card is the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So this person has, they've held back from, from actually exploring this the way that they want to with you. Kept themselves out. They've been real slow, real hesitant here. Um, but honestly, Temperance and the Page of Swords, it's just because they've been trying to do their due diligence. Like, it's a lot for this person to process, I'm getting, you know, so... Wow, Pile One. Well, this was a pretty specific message as to what your person's not telling telling you here. So if this resonated with you guys, I would love to hear from you guys below. And if you guys enjoyed the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in personals, all that is below. All right, Pile One. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys. Pile Two, welcome to your reading. So let's take a look and find out what the person on your mind is not telling you right now. So keep in mind, this is going to be a general read. So if the first few cards come out and they're not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, let's see pile two. What are they not telling you? Okay, we have the eight of pentacles. The five of wands and the four of wands. Okay, let me pull in that four of wands really quick. The Five of Swords, okay. The Page of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, yeah. So there's something here this person's not telling you that they do think about this Four of Wands with you, whatever that means, moving in, committing, something like that. They're trying to, they feel like there's competition for you. I'm just immediately getting that though. Um, and that's why we have the Five of Swords clarifying that Four of Wands. That could be a jealousy card. It feels like Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. It's like they know that they've been a little um, short, short sighted with you here. And the reason behind that though, is that they're trying to distract themselves. They're trying to act like they're not jealous here, but they they feel like there's a lot of people that are out for you. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just the initial energy I'm getting here. It, it, it can change, but this person, I feel like they do distract themselves for a lot of them. They could feel like maybe you have, there's somebody at work here with you. I mean, they're Let's just see. Let's keep going here. What's red with that five of wands? The two of wands. Um, so they're hesitant to pursue something more committed with you because they're scared that you could find somebody better. It's just kind of that. It's like this, I don't know. Hmm. It's like they're waiting and there there's a underlying thing of like not being good enough for you. And there's a fear that, you know, they could commit and then you just, you actually meet somebody that's more on your level, right? So this is what they're this is what they're thinking here. Not that you are, pile two. Let's see that eight of pentacles. What's red? The nine of swords. Okay. This person could feel like they need to build more finances to pursue more of a committed connection with you in order to beat out the competition. I mean, it's just one of those things where it's like a self-worth thing, right? Um yeah, kind of what I'm getting. So they're having like sleepless nights, anxiety about this. So if they have been acting like they're just, they're, you know, being nonchalant here, they're just doing their thing. It's really not the case. I mean, honestly, they're over here just like, what do I do? How do I get pile two? Um, and how do I X out all of these other, all these other people that are interested in them? Okay. Let's see that eight of pentacles. The Three of Cups. This is what I'm saying, you know? I was getting the vibe. Um, what they're not telling you is that there is definitely a fear of competition here. They're trying to act like they're not worried about it. And for a lot of you, I'm getting, <clears throat> if you're already involved with this person or, or if you were, there was probably an issue with maybe somebody that you worked with where they thought that you were interested in them. It's, it's that, I, you know? <laughs> okay, Five of Wands the hermit and they keep it all in right so so they don't tell you they try not to show that they're jealous they try not to show that they um they have this feeling where they may not be good enough for you you know it's like they put you on a pedestal here pile two and they know that there are a lot of people that are interested in you and it's almost for them like why do you even want me and and they're nervous about that but they try not to let it show so this person probably does come off as pretty confident but under the surface it's you know they're thinking about <laughs> You know, what if I lose pile two to somebody else? And then my, my worst fears come to fruition here. Four of Wands. The Nine of Wands. And it's like they've wanted this with you for a while, but honestly, their fears, their insecurities have kept them back. They've kept them at bay from pursuing what it is that they truly want here with you. Nine of Wands. Let's see that. The Page of Cups. 
<clears throat> the Ten of Wands. Two of Cups and the King of Cups. And the reason why this person does this with the Three of Swords behind that is because they feel a connection here with you, Pile 2, but they're worried. They're just worried they're not going to be good enough for you. They can't measure up uh, to the caliber of people that you probably do have pursuing you. Um, for a lot of you, I'm getting you are really, really good at what you do. Uh, and a lot of people admire you for that. And this person feels like they don't know if they could ride that wave with you. If they could be by your side on that level here that you guys are at. So they think that you may find somebody better. I don't know. I'm just, there's a specific message here for somebody and I, I can feel it here. Okay. Um, it's the 10 of wands and it's the two of cups at the bottom. And this person is like stressed out here, you know, because they're the ones that are keeping themselves back from pursuing what they want here with you. Um, out of fear of getting hurt, king of cups and the three of swords. This person has a lot of deep feelings that I do think that they try to, they don't try to let on because they're afraid that, you know, <laughs> again, you could find somebody better. I, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Two of wands. Let's see. What is this? The four of swords. Like they, they just don't even know. They're real worried here. I'm just getting the sense. Like a lot of sleepless nights thinking about this, like wanting a future here with you, but then going through all the possible negative scenarios that could come out of it. Yeah, they're not telling you. There's fear here. There's fear here that you may find somebody better. It's just really the energy I'm getting for this pile. Pile two. Nine of swords. The star. It's like you're the star. And that's kind of what I was getting. And this person wants you so bad. They want it all with you. But then they let the fear. They let the fear stop them. Um, let me see the eight of pentacles really quick. It's the Knight of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Strength card, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. This person feels like you are a counterpart here, <laughs> um, but they they distract themselves from taking the action necessary to move this along. This is a weird energy. It's like they see you as a counterpart, but then they don't feel good enough. Yeah, Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. It's like, well, what could I even offer Pile 2 who is up here on this this pedestal shining like a star, I feel like we're a match, but at the same time, I'm, I don't feel good enough about myself. It's, it's really the energy that I'm just trying to get here. It's like they want to do this, though. They're trying to heal or something is what I'm kind of getting here. It's like this two of wands. They know they want it. They're having anxiety. They've got to take a pause out here and go within because this is a this is a personal issue for them. Okay, it's not you. People are always going to be attracted to you, pile two. And if this person can't understand that, then there's always going to be that issue, that repetitive cycle of the jealousy, the the questioning, the whatever. They've actually got to heal it and get over it because you guys are. You're like the star for them. So if they let this go because of insecurities, then they're going to kick themselves, you know, for it later. As, yeah, they hold that. They definitely do. Okay. Yeah, For some of you, pile two, you intimidate this person, right? Because I think a lot of you, again, are good at what you do. And they just are really in a ton of admiration. And, and they don't know if they can match you. Nine of Swords. Yeah, it's the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. And again, this person, they could be working on finances here to feel more secure, to pursue you, to feel like they could beat out the competition, right? Like, it's that. It's the Chariot, the Magician. All they want is forward movement here with you, but this insecurity stuff that they have going on is is a lot, okay? Um, the Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. This person does, they feel like you are in this Nine of Pentacles energy. And that's what I was getting. Like a lot of you are in this, this is Minor Arcana Empress. And they just don't know. They're just like, they don't know if they're worthy enough. It's really what I'm getting. Okay. Huh. What's the Five of Wands here? Let's see. the king of cups and this is why they get jealous this is why they're scared because they have emotions they're emotionally invested in you pile two um it's not just you know i mean this person deep emotions whether or not i think they try to avoid them i think they try to hide them because they don't want to get hurt 
Yeah, King of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. They could feel also that you guys have either a water or air sign that you're interested in here. Could be somebody from your past. It's two kings, right? It's two kings um, with the Two of Pentacles, with the Hierophant, with the Lovers. They feel like you may meet somebody that's a better choice. It's just what it's coming out as. I don't know, Pile 2. I mean, for some of you, you do have options here. You do have two, two options. Um, okay, well, I mean, specific message for somebody out there, guys. So let's see the hermit. The devil. Yeah, this person just, they feel, they don't feel good enough. I mean, it's a repeating message. The high priestess, the page of wands, they hold, they hold all this back. You know, they're not telling you this clearly pile two, but it's, it's turning toxic because they've got to figure out a way to heal from this. You know, it's what kind of what they're doing is what I think, because they know for some of you, you're kind of at your wits in with this person. Like, what are we going to do? Tell me something here. Um, so high priestess page of wands. So they've got to, they've got to follow their intuition here. You know, they're letting the ego and the pride get in the way fear of getting hurt, but they have to actually listen to this in order to let this go. It's the sun and the four of wands because what it is that they want here with you is the whole thing. I mean, they feel like you're the person, but they've got some issues holding them back here pile too that they're not telling you about. Okay, so this is this is specific, guys. I, I really hope this found who it was meant to find. Let's do that two of wands and we'll get out of here. It's the ace of pentacles. They, they themselves want this with you, okay? They want to make an offer that cannot be refused. They want to present you with something that will match your energy here so that nobody else comes. <laughs> they want to beat out the competition, plain and simple. What they want here is a future with you, but this person is trying to figure out how to get there right now. It's the Three of Wands and the Knight of Swords. They know what they want, so they already know. It's just, it's just them getting over their stuff, their issues here, Pile 2. So if you thought this person was slow, if they were guarded... It's not you, it's them. Okay, so wow. All right, my loves. Well, I'm gonna leave it here. This is a pretty specific message as to what your person is not telling you. So if you've resonated with this, love to hear from you guys below. And uh if you enjoyed the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in personals, all that is below. All right, pile two. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye guys. Hi, pile three, welcome to your reading. So we're gonna take a look and find out what the person on your mind is not telling you. So keep in mind, this is going to be a general read. So if, if the first few cards are coming out and they're not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. All right, let's see what they're not telling you, pile three. The Hierophant, all right. The King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with the Earth sign here, Taurus specifically. And we have the Death card, Scorpio energy. Let's pull on this, What? why is death here? The Empress and the Eight of Wands. What? Three of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Pile, pile three, this person is, uh, feels like they're ready to step up their game here for you. I don't know if there's been a pause here um, in this situation, but with the Death and the Rebirth is speaking to moving forward with you the empress okay there is a three of swords and the nine of cups so it's almost like if this person hasn't told you this that this is what they want um you know they're the ones that are kind of in that three of swords right now which is leading to that death and rebirth here which uh, for a lot of you you don't even know right because this is what they're not telling you <laughs> it's the ace of cups behind that and the moon this person's in love with you so if they haven't told you here it is <laughs> okay um, I do want to pull on that Hierophant, so you know what, I'm going to pull the next two cards just because this can go a couple ways, and before I, before I say something here, let's just make sure. West Red with the King of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, okay. West Red with the Hierophant. The Lovers, right. Okay, well this is what I was thinking. Um, pile, pile three. Feels like this could be a, a third party read where somebody is not telling you that they want to move towards you, liberate themselves from something. I mean, it can go, listen, I'm not going to say for sure just yet, but this is kind of what, what I'm getting, or it could be the fact that this person wants full-blown commitment with you. They are working on finances in order to transform this connection and really do the whole thing. Okay. So now that we've got that out of the way, it can go two ways here. Let's clarify the Hierophant. <laughs> Why is it here? The Ace of Cups. Wow. Again, 
I mean, and we just saw that. It's what they want here with you. This person's dead serious about you, Pile 3. They feel like you are the empress. They they want forward movement. They want it all. The Ace of Cups, the Hierophant, is very spiritual connection with the lovers. Again, for some of you, your person may be committed elsewhere. They may be in another connection. I don't know. Not for everybody, <laughs> you know. If that's the case, clearly what they're thinking here, what they're not telling you, is that it doesn't matter. You know, they've already thought about how it would look to to liberate themselves from that. For others of you, this is just straight up. They're infatuated with you. They want the full-blown commitment here, you know. Okay, well, let's keep going, Pile 3. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Two of Swords. So it is a crossroads. There's a decision, and I was kind of getting that. I don't know, again, if you guys are in little no contact or if you guys set boundaries with this person. Could be. Uh, they've got they've got a choice. Okay. Let's see. Why is death here? The five of cups. So yeah, for some of you, there's an ending that they they're they're real sad about. They're real disappointed about, and they want to change that. Again, if you guys set boundaries because this person wasn't committing to you, they weren't going all in with this connection. They were leaving you questioning what this was. This is something talking about. They want to again, transform the shit out of this and move it forward with you. Either way you look at it, for some of you, this can be a divorce. Five cups. <laughs> I mean, death. We have the lovers. I'm just saying it could be. And the hierophant. For some of you, there's a message. There's a layer here. Five cups. The wheel. Again, if your person's connected, what they're not telling you is that they're waiting for the perfect opportunity to come in to change their situation so they can pursue this ace of cups everything with you it's not just going to be like a sexual connection this is like they if they are connected they would leave that to pursue a full-blown commitment with you okay eight of pentacles and the six of cups again if this person is having to provide right now for some of them they may have children and that's that's the thing here why they what they're not telling you is that they're still thinking about this but they're waiting for the right time to do this ten of pentacles page of cups again e either either message guys <laughs> your person wants long-term commitment with you either way either way if they're in something if they're not i you know it doesn't doesn't even matter for some of you this is a proposal energy here <laughs> Um, it's like if you guys had a separation with this person, they want to come back from that five of cups again, transform this and they see it go in the full, the full distance this time. So like no more, no more breakups. This is like the, the, when they come back, this is the final, this is the final thing, locking it down. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Yeah, so so the others of you that are resonating where your person is in a third party, this is, listen, this is them waiting for the right time to, possibly they're saving finances to exit a situation here. It's the Emperor of the Lovers again, yeah. Mm. Okay, well, either way, we're going to clarify some of these. Let's roll with the Nine of Pentacles. The Four of Wands, again. Two messages here. There's two messages, so I'm going to read them both. Okay, pile, pile three. Yeah. If what your person's not telling you, if they're connected, boom, they're thinking about a way out. They're at the crossroads right now. That's what's going on. This is what's happening. If that's not your situation, there is no third party. Um, this is them figuring out how to lock it down with you. It's nothing but here, what they want here with you, pile three. Either way, whatever scenario this is, they want it all with you. Okay? You're the one they want to be with. You're the one they want to build with. That's it. Hands down. I don't know, Pile 3. This person's very just determined to have you. They want this. And it feels like they're not going to let anything stop them from getting this. Even though we see that Two of Swords, that's just, it's a crossroads, right? So go left or right. But I think they know which way they want to go here. So lovers. <clears throat> Knight of Swords. It's moving us forward. It's forward direction. Again, if this is a choice, if this is a choice between two, they are actively considering that choice right now. Let's see that two of swords. It's the emperor. Okay. Well, again, this person's got a lot of obligations. I can already tell that. And what they're not telling you is this is stressful because they feel this with you. They want this with you. They want long term. They want the whole thing. So whatever, if there was an ending, you know, they're coming back around. They, uh, they may have had to close out some cycles, as I say that with the world at the bottom. 
and the Queen of Cups. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, they feel all these deep feelings for you. It's it's hard to stay away, and it's if they've got to uh, let go of some things, make some more time for this connection. Then I think that's what they're that's what they're not telling me right now is that they're gonna do it. This person's dead set. I don't, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see the lovers. <clears throat> it's the Queen of Swords. Okay, so Two of Cups in the Chariot. The Empress and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, for a lot of you, this is going to be third party. And uh, this person, what they're not telling you is that they have a plan. They have some sort of plan or either they're formulating a plan right now to exit that to move towards a soul connection with you. It's the same cards from the first clarifying cards that we had come out. It's the Empress and the Eight of Wands. So they've already chosen you here, Pile 3. So if you thought that they have went back to a situation, their heart is not in that. They are literally just going through the motions here. In the back of their mind, what they're doing is they are trying to figure out a way out, what they're not telling you. So, I mean, and a lot of them aren't telling you this because they don't want to just put this out there in case something, you know, prolongs it. I mean, we don't know what the future holds, right? Things can happen, stuff can go down, but whatever this is, if this person is with somebody else, those feelings are not there. It's, it's simply out of comfort is what it looks like. For others of you who are not resonating with third party, <laughs> um, they know that you have the boundaries up, right? Queen of Swords. So they know that. They've got to come correct. They've got to give you what you deserve, what it is that they actually see with you. you know what I mean, it's everything. So if you walked away here, Pile 3, from this person, what they're not telling you is that that actually woke them up to what this was and what it is that they need to do here. They've got to take action, you know, or they lose you for good. Because uh, you're in that Nine of Pentacles energy and you're good on your own. So if this person doesn't want to give you what it is that you are, are wanting from them, then yeah, you know, they could miss out on this. Yeah, it's Two of Cups, Chariot, the Empress, the Eight of Wands. I mean, it's just, it's the uh, Three of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, by the way, behind that. So I will tell you what they're not telling you is that the longer this person waits and they, they're not with you, it's killing them inside. Okay? Very specific message, Pile 3, for two groups of you out there. So, you know, I do hope this found who it was meant to find. Let's do that high reference. It's the King of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, this person. Um, Knight of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, they want full-blown commitment here with you for, for some of you. Where a decision is involved, they have been wearing a mask. They have been wearing a mask with what it is that they're in. Okay, they're not telling you this. They're not telling the other person this. This is what's going on. Because underneath it all, there's a decision at hand with that Two of Pentacles to clean that up, exit that, and have a fresh start in love with you, Pile 3. Okay. Wow, Pile 3, I'm going to leave it here. This was a pretty specific message for somebody out there today, so I would love to hear if this resonated with any of you guys out there. And uh, if you enjoyed the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in personals, all that is below. All right, my loves, I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, Pile 3.